Hello everyone, so in this video I wanted to be talking about cracking, also known as brute forcing. Cracking is like a slangy word for brute forcing basically. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I just want to get into the first bit. I want to be talking about SQI. This is how people get their combo lists. So as you can see, here's SQL map. They target vulnerable sites that don't have very, um, don't have very good security. So a lot of the time, a lot of the weak websites, they get hacked and then their database is leaked with all their records. So like their users' um, email and then password, etc. That's how it happens. They use they find a vulnerability in the site which is caused by an error error in their code and yeah basically they exploit it I'm not going to go into too much detail because even I'm not too sure on how it works but yeah that's all I know and from what I know the higher security the site has the more uh, likely the database will be better because if you have like a site let's say like that's pretty secure a lot of the people that are signed up on the website are probably wealthy people so they will most likely have bought a lot of other things on other sites which means you can brute force against the other sites and you're more likely to get hits on those other sites so why I say that because I mean let's say if you you escalate a crappy site you're a lot less likely to get good hits because a lot of the people are probably less wealthy which means they have bought less things if that makes sense and also if you hit a crappy site it's normally probably already been hacked okay so i want to be talking about the, the software and tools used to do these attacks there are quite a lot of tools there's a lot of private ones uh, private checkers whatnot but the most commonly used one from what i know has probably got to be sentry mba now this is a very old software that was made a very long time ago so it's kind of outdated now and they haven't really updated it at all but yeah I mean it works fine you can definitely target a lot of sites and yeah I mean that's probably the most commonly used tool there are also like new tools coming out as well I know that storm is a pretty big hit but I don't think it's big enough to really talk about yet so yeah so we'll be looking at a site web page login so as you can see this is PlayStation so you can tell if the website needs like a email username because it'll say sign in ID and it says email address and then password if this is username, it'd say username. That's pretty straightforward. But as you can see, there's recapture. This will make it a lot harder to crack because of the recapture. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of software like Sentry MBA and stuff can't really bypass that. Uh, so you'd have to find the API for this website, which is probably going to be very hard. So yeah, any site with a recapture, or whatever it's called, I, I would suggest not targeting unless you know a lot about it. And also, some of the sites ban the IP for like a certain amount of time. So what you can do is you can just keep on trying to sign in with like fake account and until it just banned your IP and it, it will say like you can't use this site for a certain amount of time. So yeah, those are just some useful tips to see if the web page login is vulnerable or not. Okay, so in this bit we're going to be talking about proxies and how they are used in brute forcing. So a proxy, you can think of it as another normal person just browsing the internet. 
So every computer has their own identity, which is used to kind of recognize on the internet. So that would be called your IP address. So proxies are basically, you can think of them as like a fake IP address and no one is actually behind a proxy normally. You can buy proxies, which are, are, I'm pretty sure they put them on servers and stuff. But yeah, that website can kind of recognize you via your IP. Now, yeah, so I mean, your IP is your internet identity. Proxies are used to harass the site and the site will think that a bunch of normal people are trying to log into the website. But in actual fact, you know, there's actually a bunch of, well, I think a bunch of fake people really, isn't it? A bunch of bots. If you think of them as like bots, kind of thing. I think that's how to explain them.